difference was late in the fourth quarter, you turned it on with uh, your press a little bit, didn't you? Exactly. Um, we knew going into the ball game that Harrisburg was a team that could probably pick our traps apart a little bit. Um, they just have so many good ball handlers, so many good shooters, so we didn't want to overplay. So we came out um, to start the game, which was kind of uncharacteristic of us with not trapping the basketball and just kind of playing good angles and good lanes to the bucket. And then in the fourth quarter, um, they had a lead, so we had to come out and do the stuff that we've done all year. And I felt like our kids stepped up and put a lot of pressure on the basketball. We got a couple quick runouts that led to some points that kind of got our confidence going. Hunter Shaw was on fire last night. Hunter played well um, in every aspect of the game last night. He was focused defensively. He did a great job. He was taking good angles. He was blocking out. He was hitting shots from the outside. Uh, when he missed a couple of shots from the outside, um, got the ball to the rim, got to the free throw line, hit free throws. I can't say enough for what Hunter did last night. Huge. Put the team on his shoulders last night. How do you treat Saturday's game like another game? Um, we're just going to keep doing the same things that we do, and I think that starts with how you approach practice. Um, typically, after a game, we go back through the things that we didn't do well or the things that we did do well at practice tonight, and then we'll spend a little bit of time getting ready for our opponent on Friday. But uh, for the most part, we just want to take care of what we're doing and continue to be crisp and uh, get a lot of shooting in this time of year and um, just be ready to play on Saturday. What do you know about Van Park? Um, I have about eight to ten hours of work that I'm going to do right here uh, as soon as we get done here to work on Van Farr. I know they're, uh, they've had a great year this year. They've got a lot of older kids, a um, couple big kids on the inside, um, kids that can score from the outside. They're just a very well-balanced team and probably like most of the other teams where we've played all year long, uh, they definitely have us in the agent experience this year. Your team's played well. No reason why they won't on Saturday. You just have to use that experience you've gotten all year just to take it to the next level, don't you? I think so. I think um, one experience that helped us a lot this year was our crossover game um, with North Andrew. I felt like our kids, um, especially last night, I felt like that game um, in particular had helped us last night because the kids knew that they needed to um, not leave anything out on the floor and just clean things up a little bit. It wasn't that we don't play hard physically, but sometimes you have to just refocus and get your energy going in the right direction. And I felt like the North Andrew game had taught us that, being in a big game like that. And I think these young kids have learned a lot as the season's gone on and they've carried it over and uh, we just hope that it continues for us. As a coach you have to like that because you can tell them to get it going but they have to do it themselves and they did didn't they? Exactly our young kids have grown up uh, tremendously as the course of the season's gone on you know um, we had a little lull there in the month of January where we weren't shooting the ball real well we were still putting together some wins but we just weren't playing as crisp as we had been and I felt like the kids really have regrouped from that point and uh, done a good job of maturing, um, not just physically, but getting the things done um, at practice, carrying over the game plans and those kind of things. So it's shown that our young kids are really growing up as the season's gone on. What was working for you last night? Uh, following my shot, getting, getting open on the outside and driving, driving real hard. That was, that was what helping us, making good passes, making an extra pass to the other teammate, and playing good defense as well. They are good three-point shooters and just had to play some defense. And on one of those nights when you had it going, uh, the confidence just rose uh, by the minute, doesn't it? How, how did how'd you feel last night when things were going in? I was feeling amazing. I didn't think like most of my shots would have went in, but whenever they were falling, I just felt confident in myself and I just kept, kept doing it. Van Farr's next. A win there sent you to Springfield to the state tournament. To the big tournament. What are your thoughts about that? I'm actually kind of nervous because I haven't seen them play yet. But once I get enough film on them and see what they're up to, I'll be able to. I think we can. I think we can win. We've been in quite a few ball games all year where uh, we've jumped out to a big lead, and then they've came kind of. We've had a lapse there in the third quarter, and uh, we've just followed along and kept pushing it out, and finally got the win. Saturday, big game against Van for a win. You get to Springfield, you go to the state, and get to do all that. How do you treat like treat that like another game? Um, you just you gotta. 
accept the excitement before the game, but as you're getting ready in that locker room, you just got to go through and say, we still got a game to play. There's still a game to win. You know, you just got to go out and treat it just like another game and hope to get a W. I've seen your team a couple of times before games when you walk into a building. Uh, you guys are focused. Uh, you have your game faces on. Talk to me about that a little bit. You're, you're ready before it starts, aren't you? Yeah, uh, Ms. Dabney does a great job of getting us prepared the nights before in practice. And uh, we've, we've kind of learned that... Uh, if we're not really focused before a game, we're not going to play that great. So we try to do a real good job of staying focused, but also having fun at the same time.